Welcome to the Lameness Detection training video for the upcoming NOMS Dairy 2014 study. This video will describe the three-point lameness detection scale that will be used in a study, will illustrate each of the three lameness scores through video examples, and will end with a self-assessment that will allow you to evaluate your performance when using the three-point lameness detection scale. The three-point lameness scale is made up of three different lameness categories. Sound cows are assigned a score of 1, mild moderately lame cows are assigned a score of 2, and severely lame cows are assigned a score of 3. Cows with a lameness score of 1 are considered sound. There is no visible gait abnormality to a very slight gait abnormality. These cows walk smoothly and comfortably with long strides. Older cows may have a bit of an arch to their back or may walk slower than other cows in the herd, but their movement is still free of obvious discomfort. Another way to think of cows with a lameness score of 1 is in that they are in no need of being examined by a hoof trimmer or veterinarian. If you find yourself thinking that a cow needs to be evaluated, then she should be placed in one of the other lameness categories. Here's a score one cow. She walks comfortably with long strides. Her rear foot comes close to her front foot before she takes a step, which is referred to as tracking up, and is seen in sound cows. This is an example of an older cow that has scored a one. She has a slight arch in her back, but walks comfortably with long strides. Cows that are mild to moderately lame are assigned a lameness score of two. There is a visible gait abnormality, which may include a shortened stride length, which is obvious by an increase in the space between their rear and front foot placement, a head bob, and or an arching of the back. These cows appear uncomfortable when they walk and will possibly walk more stiffly than sound cows. The affected limb is not likely to be obvious. These are the cows that may be missed by a novice scorer, such as a dairy employee, but they are lame despite the fact that they are not obviously favoring a limb. Again, considering whether or not a cow needs to be examined by a professional hoof trimmer or veterinarian may help you to categorize the cows. If you feel that a cow should be examined soon to identify why she is walking abnormally, then she should be scored at the very least a 2, with the more severe cases being scored a 3. Here's a score 2 cow. She is walking stiffly and is not tracking up. Notice the space between her rear foot and her front foot. Also note the arching of the back and a slight head bob. Severely lame cows are assigned a score of 3 and are cows with an obvious gait abnormality, which may include shortened stride length, prominent head bob, and or a pronounced arching of the back, with cows favoring one or more limbs. These cows will be hesitant or refuse to bear weight on the affected limb, and walking may be extremely difficult and painful. As a general rule, when interpreting head bobs, cows with a front foot injury will bob their heads up when placing weight on the affected foot, while cows with a rear foot injury will bob their heads down when stepping on the affected foot. These cows tend to walk slower and frequently end up at the back of the herd. These are cows that need to be examined by a professional hoof trimmer or veterinarian immediately to assess the animal and to determine the proper course of action, and are also cows that are of greatest welfare concern as these animals appear to be in pain and are obviously uncomfortable. This cow is a three and is lamb on her right front. She is short striding and her head bobs up as she steps on the sore foot. Now we'll show you examples of cows in each lameness category and score them with you. This cow is a 1. This cow is a 3 and is lame on her right front. Her head bobs up when the right foot is impacting the ground. This cow is a 1. This cow is a 2. She looks stiff, has a slight back arch, and a subtle head bob. This cow is a 1. This cow is a 3. Even though she stands with a flat back, she is obviously favoring her right rear foot, which is why it's important to score cows as they are walking. This cow is a 1. This cow is a 2. She walks stiffly with an arched back and a head bob. This cow is a 3. She is favoring her right rear foot and her head bobs down as she places weight on the affected foot. This cow is a 2. She walks stiffly and is short striding. The affected limb is not obvious. Now we will show you examples of cows and it will be up to you to score them on your own. So grab a piece of paper and jot down your scores, and we'll give you the answers after you've seen them all.
Now take a moment and compare your scores to the ones on the screen. You may want to pause the video to allow yourself time to tally. So, how did you do? If you did not agree with the scores on the previous screen, you should go back and look at those cows again. If you still do not agree, then you may need to go back and review the scoring criteria towards the beginning of the video. Scoring lameness on dairy cows is no easy task. Our goal is to limit the variability between those scoring lameness for the 2014 dairy study. We suggest that an hour be allocated for lameness scoring, which should allow enough time to score all of the cows on a dairy with 100 cows or less. On larger dairies, one or two pens should be chosen for observation, preferably the high production pen consisting of cows 30 to 120 days in milk, in order to keep the cows observed consistent across the study. The lameness evaluation sheet provides room for you to describe the pen scored. It's also ideal to score cows on a flat surface with good traction as cows may not walk naturally on a slope or a slippery surface. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact Jason Lombard at jason.e.lombard at aphis.usda.gov. Thank you for your participation and in ensuring that the 2014 dairy study is a success.